stock is the former Marks and Spencer's building in Stockport Town Centre, which we bought in October of last year. And our vision for the building is to completely reposition it from an old, decrepit department store into a mixed-use scheme, incorporating offices on the first ground, first, second floor, retaining a little bit of retail that faces out onto Merseyway, and a leisure scheme in the large, in the large basement. Well, th this latest development for the town centre means a huge amount. In terms of what we're trying to do here, we're trying to bring footfall into the town centre, but not only that, we're trying to diversify what we've got here. So in terms of what, what we've already done with the produce hall, what we're doing up on the underbanks as well, what we're already doing within the uh, Mersey Way through the work that we're going to soon be starting on Adlington Walk, it's all about not only getting people here, but to diversify the offer and, and basically try and repurpose the town centre so it's fit for the, for the future. Retail at the moment is obviously not where it used to be and now what we're trying to do and what we're getting a lot of praise on is that we're now seeing that um, through what the work that we're doing, repurposing it, diversifying what we've got here and um, we're beginning, beginning to bring people back here and we're beginning to get people to realise the potential Stockport's got and through uh, the work that Glenbrook are doing and through stock we think it's going to bring more businesses into the area, bring more footfall and people will see the potential that Stockport's got. So I'm, I'm really, really proud of this and I'm really quite excited about um, what's about to come here. The South Manchester market and employment wise has got 12 million square feet of space, that's 120,000 people working offices in South Manchester. And they range from creatives to banking, finance, holiday companies, the whole range. So we can't really constrain ourselves other than to say the businesses that we want here are ones which are able to embrace uh, the location, give amenities to the staff and appreciate the benefits of coming here. You go through the doors, there'll be a trendy, modern uh, looking reception area, fairly casual, not the old uh, desk barrier chap in epaulettes, be fairly, not, ho not quite hotel concierge, but it'll be upbeat and modern. There'll be a casual seating area, there'll be meeting rooms off there. Then when you go into the actual office space itself, it's big open floor plates with columns, but given the floor to ceiling height, it'd be quite light and airy, particularly with the atrium coming down. I think people will find it's a good and interesting place to work. And it, again, people don't like change. And if their perception of Stockport is, oh, that's the old M&S, I think they'll walk into this building and go, wow, I never expected that. And I think that's what we're aiming for. And if you've seen the CGI's, I think that's what we're very close to achieving. So we really wanted to take a, a different approach, more of a city centre kind of approach to, to the branding and the graphics and the naming. Um, so we came up with maybe 60, 70 different names and it boiled down to stock, which is a very subtle reference to stock, stock room, so on and so forth, um, reference to the, to the previous incarnation. But we didn't want to bring that too much into the, to the new graphics. It's all about sort of moving forward really. So. Um, so new businesses that potentially might move into the, to the, to the space might not necessarily know the connection between the old, the old uh, uh, purpose of the building. So It's just got everything an occupier of office accommodation would want. It's got a busy train station, it's close to a, a very, well it's part of a very large labour pool of staff. Um, it's very close to the motorway. Um, it's got all its amenities. It's a, a sleeping giant in the Greater Manchester conurbation. Well, ultimately, um, we've got between 40 and 50,000 square foot of office accommodation, and when it's full, um, that could that could hold about 400 staff. So every day you've got um, 400 people descending onto the building behind me here. So that that's going to have a positive effect on local traders, um, the, the shops, the cafes the cinema, the gyms, it's just hopefully will create some momentum and you know we certainly, if we, we make a success of this, we'll certainly try and acquire more buildings to do the same thing so it'll have, it'll start some momentum I think.